You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike and uh, this is a color dex. It's a Rolodex full of colors. And in these favorites videos, I try to take a subcategory here, break it down to my top five favorites right now, and then show them to you in no particular order. Today, today we have light greens. All right, first up in light greens, Diamine Kelly Green, which I first got back uh, 10 years ago, which is wild, but Diamine Kelly Green, just a gorgeous green. Look at that nice light, bright green. Little bit of a uh, sheen there along the edges. Totally worth checking out Diamine Kelly Green. Notice uh, back then I did not write the titles in the ink color, so don't expect it to look like this. But this one, accurate swatch. Good stuff. Next up, uh, this is Ackerman's Von Heisem's Safgrün. Uh, which I know I said poorly. Sorry about that, Annabelle. And uh, I got this from Pen Realm back uh, in the Atlanta show because it's a massive bottle. This is a really cool ink that is a little bit on the bright side, or rather a little bit on the light side, perhaps. But they are light greens, and this light bright green is uh, pretty neat. And on the right papers, it can really shine. Next up, I have Twisby's Prairie Green. These Twisby inks are pretty good and actually way better than I expected them to be. Prairie Green is a nice bright yellowish kind of bright light green. Totally worth checking out. Usually these are under 10 bucks as well, which is pretty cool. Next up, Diamine Calligraphy Passion, which I believe is a German exclusive ink, but still pretty darn attainable through the interwebs. I have not been brave enough to put this in a pen yet just because uh, I have a feeling it's going to be too light for me, but I have it on really good authority. This is very nice uh, and so I'm gonna put it in this list because uh, I, I believe my sources and I think it looks great so this is, look at this look at this light green real cool all right last up Robert Oster green lime this is one I definitely have used it is a gorgeous limey sort of green really pretty here's a couple of samples for that broad 3776 and a, uh, a fine uh, platinum procyon nib I think it looks better in the broader nibs personally but that's because I like my greens a little bit darker and this tends to be kind of on the lighter side so uh, can be very cool and also can look entirely different depending on what kind of nib you put this in so there you go there's my top five uh there is there is one honorable mention we'll make a little bit of room over here uh, and that is for blackstone lemur lime and this is i will admit i think i fully expected to not enjoy because i thought it was gonna be more like uh, I don't know, Sublime or some of these other really light, uh, light, light greens. This one, though, is a gorgeous green. This is Lemur Lime up here. I don't have a writing sample on the back of it, but unfortunately, this is from Blackstone, who has disappeared throughout the, uh, the the pandemic we just went through. And so you can't get any more. This is this is gone, I think. If you can snap up a bottle of it, though, I say do it, because this is a really cool, almost like day glow sort of green. It's really neat and not like anything else I have. So there you go. Honorable mention for a uh, unobtainium ink. But there you have it. Uh, light greens. Uh, there you go. Let me know what your favorite light greens are down in the description there and uh you know until next time peace out